Yo, what is going on, Rockets fans? It is Randy, and we are finally back for Draft League content. Those of you who have been patient with me and were okay with me not uploading for a while, I do want to you know, thank you all for your patience. Um, but we are back with the GDL, week number one, against my boy John Jr., coach of the Portland Nightshaders. So make sure you give him a, give him a look. He actually made all the graphics uh, for this season, so a special thank you to him. Um, yeah, so... New year, uh, new vids and all that sort of stuff. I'm clean shaven, even though I'll have a beard probably in the next video we have. So um, you don't have to worry about that if y'all are, you know, if y'all even care about that. But obviously, a lot of questions going into the season and draft league in general. Um, hold on. Uh, you know, with the timer. Um, you know, with the timer and all that sort of stuff. So a lot of questions. Um, but honestly, I hope it's not a big deal. I'm sure it'll become a big deal because people, I know some players that I've faced in the past that, you know, definitely take their time. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just sucks that we can't, um, you know, we can't take our time with Calx. So honestly, um, I'm not going to do Calx this season, you know, like unless it's like a huge Calc that I need to Calc. But and for the most part, I'm just going to play it fast because I just don't want it to go to timer. I'm not going to try to use timer to an advantage. And I say that now, but who knows what will happen. Because this is week one, right? So we don't even know for sure uh, what will happen. Um, obviously, apparently there's a way to uh, change it. Um, but we'll see what goes down. Um, but this is my team. I'm rocking out. Um, hopefully, there'll be a builder um, um, uploaded before then. I did record it. I just did not get a chance to... Um, um, I don't know if I'll get a chance to upload it before the battle, even though we're battling pretty early. So hopefully I do get a chance to um, get that up. But anyways, this is the team that I have here. You can see all the items on it. Um, definitely a bit of a like a bulkier offense build. Um, I'm sure the Dragapult and the Salazzle will throw them off a little bit. Um, but besides that, everything else probably seems pretty standard. Um, so with all, that, with all that being said, guys, let's jump into the Houston Team Rockets opening matchup for... Um, draft league and that'll, that'll be it all right looking forward to this i haven't actually played a lot of singles but um this is the team that he brought um all seem pretty likely brings um unpheasant is his dynamax captain so pretty no surprise there it's actually pretty threatening against my team i'm pretty sold on leading with Frostmoth because if he if he gets up stealth rock then i can't switch in ever so I'm pretty sold on leading with that. Um, rocks are kind of annoying in general. And this isn't like a Quiver Dance set. As you can tell, I'm being spec. So um, obviously if I wanted Quiver Dance, I would have brought Heavy Duty Boots. But that is not the case. Um, Bronzong's a little annoying for the squad. I mean, not really. I have Salazzle, Dragapult, and Ostagoon. So should be a big deal. Um... Mammoth Swine is a huge threat because I don't have a, a ground immunity on my team. I don't even have a resist. Well, I have Frostmoth, but Frostmoth's going to be my lead here. Sorry if I'm, like, shaking on camera. I'm actually, like, cold and nervous. So, I'm actually going to just, uh, perhaps grab a... Nah, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll calm down here in a second. Just, I get those nerves sometimes for, like, a first week. I get nerves, but... Anyway, my, my trainer card's trash. Don't roast me in the comments, okay? I, I made it, like, my first, like, like in the beginning, so I'm going to have to change it up at some point. Uh, but yeah, here we go. This is the Bronzong. Perfect. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can take a steel move from this thing. I don't know, though, for sure. Um, the problem is we don't 2 KO this thing. But we'll go ahead and just attack anyway, because we don't have any other play. The only way he avoids a two hit is if he's max bedef, and there's probably reason for him not to be. But anyways, this is cool. Uh, this is fine. He looks to be right on that edge there. All right. So rocks go up. I did not bring rocks. I also don't have any any way to remove them. So that's kind of annoying. But you know what? That's the way we're gonna play it out here. Switches into the Unpheasant. Mammoth Swine. That is not a switch in, my friend. This is going to hurt. 
Very much so. That's the salt vest, it looks like. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm going to stay in here. I don't see a reason not to. This thing, I don't have a switch into this beast anyway. So good damage on Bronzong, good damage on Mamoswine. We did not see leftovers on Bronzong, so he could either be Akaberry or Kasibberry. Um, I don't imagine it's going to be anything else besides those two. Switch it out again. This has to be done Pheasant, right? This thing? Okay. Does Poison resist Bug? It probably does, huh? Yeah, it resisted pretty well. Special attack drop? A defense drop? Okay. Um, we could take a hit from this, unless it's Boom Burst. Um, we're just going to stay in here, probably, huh? There's no reason to save this. We're just going to do some early breaking and see where it goes from here. Um, yeah. I'm guessing that Bamboo Switch was predicting a double. Probably into my, uh, my Milotic, or I don't even know. We're actually faster, which is pretty sweet. Um, what's he going to do? Shift gear. Ooh. I forgot to think it's shift gear. Hmm. Uh. Yikes. This is probably a big deal. <laughs> I might have to Dynamax throw on this thing. Um, this is kind of a big deal. Throw chop, okay. Losing certain moves, okay. So we have throw chop, shift gear, and then probably what dual stab or something. Uh, I might have to Dynamax throw, which is annoying, to just to be able to take this thing down. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shift gear again. Maybe I should have played smart around this thing. Well, you only have plus two attack, right? So it's not that big of a deal. This guy's thinking, what the hell are you doing? That's what he's thinking right now. Um, I don't have priority either, man. This is not good. Uh, we can disconnect right here? Hope not. Uh-oh. Alright y'all, so we actually disconnected, uh, you know, after this exchange here, so we are rebuilt, replaying it right now. Uh, I do want to note a few things that are different. Um, that first turn against Bronzong actually did more than, um, did right about half, so it actually was put in yellow. So that's one thing I do want to note about this before we, you know, continue. Um, right now I'm not in a good spot because I'm letting him set up for free. Uh, I might have to switch out, but I don't want something to throw down, you know? I don't want to throw something away. <laughs> uh, I don't want to throw something out. That's the problem. Um, I might go my Lottic right here. I don't know if that's a, that's a throw or not, but, um, I think I have to. You get plus two attack. I'm going on my lot of gear. I'll save Frostmont as a sack. This is only covering if he goes for another uh, shift gear. That's all this is covering for. Uh, but he's going throw chop. Okay. So I should have stayed in there. But we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes out. Overdrive. Oh, he's mixed. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, that is pretty wild. I feel like Obstagoon can live a hit. Hmm. I kind of need it, though. I guess I have to go on a throw. I can't even kill it, can I? Oh no, I can definitely kill it. Shoot. Uh, this is not good. 
Throw chop, shift gear, overdrive. My controller is dying. My controller just died. Oh my goodness. Oh shoot. Get back. Back, back, back. Uh, I guess we gotta go on a throw. It's our play. I gotta charge my controller. <laughs> Uh, I'll do that right now, actually. Okay. So we appear to have to go to throw here and hope that uh, Max Hailstorm does it. And that's all we can hope for. That's all we can hope for now. Yeah, I played this a little recklessly. I probably should have went Obstagoon though. I think Obstagoon probably could have taken a hit. I don't know. But if this doesn't knock out, I'm fairly certain Hail will chip it out. But with the amount of HP we're getting, we should eat any hit from this thing. And it'll proc our berry. And then we'll be in like somewhat decent shape. He's actually going to jab. He's a crit too. Wow. And poison. That helps me, but that crit does not help me. Uh, so that kind of sucks. Um, now this is gonna sound. Can I get put? I might be put in the berry range actually, because of poison inhale, which is what I want. Perfect. Uh, it's not gonna give me much HP though. It's gonna be uh, like that's 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 a decent amount, but. Now, I'm going to calc this, though. I want to calc this. Can we live an unpheasant attack? I'm so glad we, we were able to recreate, so... What's his... Oh, I eat this for breakfast. Unless he's orb. Oh, no, I don't eat this for breakfast. Um, I do not eat this for breakfast. Uh, but I got um. If I throw out Frost Moth, he won't get a boost, and then I can go into Salazzle and burn him. But I don't know how much it's gonna help. I'm gonna throw out Frostmoth, so that way he doesn't get a boost. This seems pretty stupid, but I have to. Because he might not even Dynamax, that's the thing. We'll see how it plays out, though. Okay, he definitely maxed out. Alright. Uh, what's the play? What's the play? I feel like he might be Lumberry, so that's something that kind of holding me back from going for like a Will-O-Wisp. I, I think he might be Life Orb though, so like that's kind of the reason why I want to go for a burn. I could also Parting Shot. I actually kind of like a... Uh... I kind of like going for knock because, or oh, I want to burn it, but this could be bad. I think we're going to burn it. Uh, we're going to try to burn this sucker. But if he ends up being Lumberry, then I don't know what to say. You might just lose if he's Lumberry. Because we are a Scarf off the Goon, right? So, like, we can outspeed this after an airstream. Okay. He is, in fact, uh, not Lumberry. We do live, but the hail, my own hail is going to mess me up. <laughs> uh, which is okay, I guess. Uh... He 
Yikes, we're getting shredded. But you know what? We still have a pretty good shot at this. Only because Dragapult's a monster. That's the only reason why we have a shot at this. But yeah, we're going to Obstagoon now. And pretty much forced to double edge. We're going to have to trade lives here. I could also just knock. Knock's probably safer. Yeah, we'll just knock. He doesn't get any sort of fighting move, so we'll just knock. Scope lens. Going for crits. Alright. That's respectable. And his Dynamax is over. Braybird will do some recoil, but I can live it. Um, I don't know where that puts us, though. We're still in a bad spot. Um, We still have throw, which is pretty interesting. I'm going to have to knock. I don't have a choice. Depending on how he's trained, we could actually outspeed still, but I, I doubt it. Work up? Okay. Interesting. He must have roost, right? But I feel like this is going to do a decent amount still. With burn, he can't really sit around, so that's cool. Brave Bird will kill him. Unless he has, like, return. Like, I don't know what his normal stab is that he gets. Definitely can't let him roost, though, for free. Is that roost? Okay. Um, I might have to throw out throw right here. But, like, he's getting more HP, but... I'll sit here. <laughs> 20 minute timer? Yeah, he just said, you know what? Screw it. We're not doing this. Uh, I think recoil and burn should be enough. Crit too? That didn't matter though. And his ability, right? So he has a pretty good shot. Oh, thank God. That was close. Alright, I think I have to go through. Oh, it's 2v3, 2v4. I'm getting sh shredded in this game. A uh, lot, lot of a uh, lot of stuff going on in this game for sure. My controller died. We got some bad stuff going on. You know, we still have a shot. That's the best part about this, but it's not looking too good. We're going to spin cycle. It's Rotom. Um, I think I had to thunder punch, man. No, I, I can't thunder punch. That'd be a bad play. I'd have to do the super power straight up, like full powered. But Thunder Punch makes more sense, unless he goes Mammoth Swine. But you wouldn't go Mammoth Swine. I'm Thunder Punching here. Gonna hex, okay. The damage is what's more important to me. That's not a lot though. I should have super powered. I'm a full. Hex is going to do a lot to my... And he's got Ice Shard still, so I think this game is pretty much over. Quick and straight to the point, I will say. If I super power, I may have had a shot, but... He does light screen, though. Alright, so he's definitely going for Mammo. Probably. Okay. Um... Is there any way out of this? I don't have any rocks up, so definitely not. At least the differential was closer with that uh, that knockout. Um, yeah, definitely did not play smart against that uh, Toxtricity. We just let it set up for free, and that wasn't very good. So in comes Mammo. Uh, I guess we can burn it, but he's just going to Ice Shard me too. Uh, burn won't even save me though, that's the thing. But uh, let's just hope he doesn't have any priority. That's our only hope. He's probably gonna be Scarf though. I mean, we saw his AV already. We, we already found out his AV. Because Specs uh, Buzz didn't do a lot. He didn't go ahead and shard twice. But after Burn, we're definitely gonna live this. Well, I guess not. But we wouldn't have killed anyway because of the light screen, so. That wouldn't have made a difference. 
Anyways, that that's that's okay. GG to John. Well, well, well built, well played. Uh, obviously, my builds weren't too good. Neither was my playing. My playing definitely wasn't very good today. Uh, but you know what? It's a learning progress. Learning. Uh, it's a learning uh, experience. We'll definitely fight and build for another day. I believe next week we go up against uh, Montreal Milotics, coached by I believe that's Matt. It's Matt, right? Yeah, it's Matt Oshia. So, look forward to playing him. I think I've only played him once, and I hacked the hell out of him one time. And, you know, that's usually what happens when I play people. But today wasn't our day. Nonetheless, guys, thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys next week for week two of GDL. See you all then. Go Rockets.